Hello, in this video we are going to derive the consumer's expenditure function. The expenditure function gives the minimum budget necessary to obtain a given level of utility at a set of market prices. We'll start with this utility function. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get marginal utility for each good. The marginal utility of good X Take the partial derivative of the utility function. And we get that result. Then, we'll get the, then we're going to get the marginal utility of good y. Take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. we get that result. Uh, next thing we recognize from consumer optimization is that the marsh utility per dollar is equal across all goods. So our utility maximizing condition can be written as such. What I'll do next is just substitute in our marginal utilities into this expression. So that's the marginal utility of good x divided by the price of good x, p subscript x is the price of good x. And now the marginal utility of good y divided by the price of good y, p subscript y. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this down. Um, let's solve this for y. Okay, uh, first thing uh, to note here is that this 0.5 and 0.5 will cancel. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'm going to take this x to the minus 0.5 and move it down into the denominator. Likewise, I'll do the same thing for y to the minus 0.5, moving that down into the denominator. leaving us with that. Uh, next thing I'll do is I'll just uh, cross multiply or multiply through by the square root of y and then I'll multiply through by the square root of x. So once again this last step I just multiplied both sides through by the square root of x and the square root of y. So the square root of x times the square root of x is where x is coming from, and then the square root of y times the square root of y is where y is coming from. And we'll simplify this down to y equals the price of good x divided by the price of good y times x. So that's our first important expression. And then all I'm going to do here, slide down, is I'm going to take this same expression now and just solve it for x. Okay, or take this expression and solve it for x. Okay. So we got x equals the price of good y divided by the price of good x times y. So these, uh, this equation and this equation is going to be important for us. What we're going to do with each one of these equations is we're going to substitute them into the utility function. If you recall, utility in this problem was given by x to the 0.5 times y to the 0.5. So where we see a y, 
let's substitute in this expression. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in for uh, y. I'm going to plug in price of good x divided by the price of good y times x. This is all raised to the power of one half. Now I'm going to just simplify this. Or, well, one half, point five, same thing. And now let's solve this for x. back to the point 5 and you have this expression. Let me highlight that for us. Okay, we're now going to do the same exact thing but this time in the utility function we're going to substitute out x and plug in the price of good y divided by the price of good x times y. So let me just rewrite the utility function once again. And here now for x, I'm going to plug in this result right here. That's all raised to 0 0.5, power 0.5. and multiplied by y to the point 0.5. Simplifying again, the y to the point 0.5 times y to the point 0.5 is just y. Solving this for y, U here. Okay, we are almost done. Let me highlight that. So we're again trying to get the expenditure function. So the next thing we need to do is just write the consumer's budget constraint. The consumer's budget constraint M, representing money income, is the price of good X will equal the price of good X times units of X plus the price of good Y times units of Y. To get the expenditure function, all we're going to do is substitute our x expression up here into the budget constraint and our expression here for y into the budget constraint. So let me go ahead and make those substitutions. So what is x? Well, uh, x is what I have here. The price of good y divided by the price of good x raised to the point 0.5 times u. Now substituting out for y this expression we're left with that and this technically is our expenditure function we can clean it up a little bit okay go ahead and clean it up a little bit Okay, so we got uh, price of good x here divided by the price of good x raised to the 0.5 power just leaves us the price of good x to the 0.5 power. U. And we get a similar looking thing over here, so in the end. the consumer's expenditure function is going to give, be given by this expression. So if 
uh, for example, if you know utility is 100 and the price of good X is a certain amount and the price of good Y is a certain amount, this will tell us the minimum expenditure, minimum amount that needs to be budgeted to achieve that level of utility. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.